She was trying to lie quiet. What's up? <laughs> you tell us. I don't know. I'm waiting on y'all. I'm sitting on G, waiting on O. <laughs> you had a couple sacks uh, the other night. Yes, sir. Just how good did that feel to, to be able to get out there and make a couple impact plays? I mean, it always feel good to make plays. So when I got them two sacks, you know, adrenaline just running high, trying to stay calm, get to the next play and see if I can get another one. But it felt good that night, though. Deborah, there's a point in training camp where on the field, Freddie Kitchens turned to his offensive line and said, you guys can't block this guy. I don't know if you remember that day. Yes, sir, I remember. He made me raise my hand. So <laughs> what turned it on for you? I mean, you ever since then, you just stop thinking so much and come out and play the game and just trust what I'm learning every day and fundamentals with my coach and just using the techniques that he uses and taking it to the practice field and trying to transfer it on game day. So what at some point that light went on with you? Yeah, just stop thinking about it so much. You know what I'm saying? It's football. It's what I've been doing all my whole life. So, you know, just go out there and apply the right techniques and the proper skills and do what I'm supposed to do. What was your immediate reaction though when you heard that? Were you like, wow, I can't believe you said that? Nah, it wasn't even like it was – It was. I was in such a zone, it was like I ain't realized – I thought I was in trouble because I just tackled the running back to the ground. So I really thought I was going to get in trouble. You know what I mean? But when he said that, it was like, okay, boom, accept the pat on the butt, but put your head down and keep working. So did you, you add it to – Yeah, he grabbed my hand and made me raise it. Yeah. What have you added to your game as a pass rusher since you were in college and didn't have a ton of sacks? I mean, you look like uh, – I mean well, – Obviously, you've done something. I mean, playing – I mean, playing time. You know what I'm saying? Playing time. That's the that's that's, that's going to be the biggest thing because I feel like I've always put in a little work. You know what I mean? And getting you know, with Coach Tosh is like, shoot, he's been working on me more and just helping develop my game and even other guys in the room. And he's just, I mean, good coach. You know what I'm saying? Somebody good to learn from. But I, but most importantly, like I said, game playing time. I'm out there. You know what I mean? So I'm able to like produce a little bit. As a pass rusher, what's your what's your approach? I mean, is it? Is it very complex and it's just always something different? Or is it actually get simple? out get out the ball and beat the man that's in front of you? Did somebody tell you, hey, stop overthinking it? Was it like a teammate mm -hmm. or a coach? Nah, I wasn't really nobody telling me stop overthinking it. You know what I mean? Coach Perella, he always tell me stop thinking so much. But you know what I mean? It's just like that's really that's really always been my thing. Stop thinking so much. Just go play. Scared to mess up. Scared to make this mistake. Scared to take that step. But and when you get to doing that, you're not playing fast. So you know when you when I'm not thinking, I play faster. Mm -hmm. but, but, I mean that's. Sort of what it can be like when you're fighting for a roster spot, though, too. Right? I mean, it is, but you know what I'm saying. That's why they tell. That's why they got sayings like "control what you can control." I can control me thinking. I can control how fast I play this play. You know what I mean? So if I take, I take the time out to control the things I control and not worry about the things that I can't, I'd be just fine. How are you feeling about this week when they do make the cut down? Do you, do you have that mentality I mean, that you did all you could? Or? I mean, I mean, you know, like just control what I can control. I mean, of course, I mean, I'm human, so I'm going to be nervous. But you know what I'm saying? I trust the Lord. So, you know what I mean? Just to let the chips fall where they fall. So, Nicole, what do you think of the defense be? When you got all you guys, I mean, you got a lot of guys who are not looking at you guys. I mean, I think we could be as good as we want to be. You know what I mean? We just got to have the same vision and the same goals to go to the same place. You know what I'm saying? So I think the sky's the limit for us. How do you how do you get playing time in the regular season with those guys in front of you? I mean, they good players, but you know, uh, they run out of oxygen too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they go get tired. So when they tap on that hill, but I'm gone. <laughs> Did you? Uh... Did you pay attention? Speaking of that, did you pay attention to like the Browns having you know Gerald McCoy and Mike Daniels in for visits? You know, trying to add another detail. Did wasn't really worried about it. At the end of the day, you control what you can control. I can't control who they bring here. I could control the fact that I'm already here and what I do with each day. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really worried about it. Thought it might have made you think like, hey, I, I can I can really do this. I can be that third pass rusher they want on the. Nah, not even just worried about it. You got to you know what I'm saying? You got to take the competition. You know what I'm saying? It's like a fight. It's like it's like a matchup on your ass a little bit, get you going. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you're trying to bring him in, gonna make you compete a little more, make you work a little harder, but you know, can't really worry about it because you can't control it. I'm gonna guess that uh, most of the offensive linemen uh, that you're lining up against are two, three, sometimes four inches taller than you. <laughs> yeah. with, 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 your, with your body type and, uh, and you know, what you know you have inside you, what is your approach to beating uh, the, the, the tall guys? 
you know, like you said, you know, most of them a little taller, so like six seven, some six six, six five. I might be six two, maybe six three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, I take my approach is the little man syndrome. Just be a firecracker. Yeah, you think you bigger than me, you gonna push me around, but you know, you ain't for to push me around. I got that little man syndrome. Get mad and the knock them around a little bit, and the, and the look on their face when you get them and move them around a little bit. You notice that uh, you do get their uh, attention fairly early on. And they don't look at you as the guy they're going to push around. Uh, right they now. feel the strength a little bit. <laughs> that weight room. <laughs> Would you say uh, this is the best you've, you've played in your career, this stretch of uh, camp? I feel like I, I wouldn't say the best, but I would say the most confident. Mm -hmm. has, has it been sort of, you know, I remember when you were with New Orleans, you, you had a good camp and stuff. Yeah. That's been a little while. Right. I mean, what what has it been like kind of between now? I know there's still a ways to go this this week, but I mean. What's it been like? You know, my mind, like you said, I felt like I had, I felt like I did good in my time in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's still business, you know what I mean? So it's just like, control what you can control, you know what I mean? I could control the way I played there, but at the end, I didn't have the final decision. You know, now I'm here. So it's like making the best out of this opportunity. And each day just getting up, let my feet hit the floor, and you know what I'm saying? Putting my best foot forward, feeding the positive dog and not the negative dog. Did anybody you in your height a little bit? Like, do you think that might give you a little bit of advantage? Because the linemen, they're trying, leverage. To get this, they're trying to get that leverage, leverage. against you, and maybe they can't get it. Yeah, leverage. But still, at the same time, I still got to work on my pad level because sometimes I play too high. You know what I'm saying? So I, can, I feel like I could be better with leverage. And the better I am with my leverage, I feel like the better of a player I can be. Did anybody in your career ever say you were too short for this position? No, ma'am. <laughs> you had a bit of a knee scare when we were in Indy, uh, but it turned out to not be that serious. Did that give you some yeah, because, you know, like, I thought it was something, and I was tripping, and I was just like, I don't like how I feel. And then when I found out it was nothing, it's just like, all right, it ain't nothing, so let's go. <laughs> so sooner, and, that, and that's just for my mind, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's all players with injuries. The first the first battle you got to beat is the mental, the mental battle with it, and then the second part is physical. So once they told me it was nothing, it was just like, all right, let's go again. What's your favorite part of getting a sack? Is it like the look on the quarterback's face or what? what? Man, I can't really explain it, but I tell you, it's something else, though. Like an adrenaline rush or? Uh... It's an adrenaline rush. It's a couple different things. <laughs> and it's better than a lot of different things. You feel <laughs> If you would make the team, what can you bring to the defense? I mean, just energy, good teammate, you know what I'm saying? And just somebody that's going to try to do what you tell me to do and somebody that's going to play hard. You know, give you everything I got till I run out of all my oxygen. <laughs> what has it um, been like having those uh, veteran guys come in, um, Sheldon Richardson, Olivier Vernon? What, what have you picked up from them? I mean, I feel like it's been good, you know what I mean? Like, it's just some top-notch vets. The stuff that you do or the stuff that they feel like you're not doing, like you could be better in, they, I mean, they help you, they critique you. They tell you to do this, do that, you know, try this or try that. Just add into your game, and that's always good because you got guys that's been doing it. Two pro bowlers, you know what I mean? So it's just like, what can you not learn from those guys, you know what I'm saying? If they talking to you, why not listen to them? They done did it. Miles giving you any tips? Yeah, Miles always giving me some tips. That's my brother, you know what I mean? So, you know, like, we're a little closer. Even though he's a pro bowler, you know what I'm saying? He's like, we look close in age, partner, you know what I'm saying? He can't tell me too much. Nah, I'm talking to him. I'm just talking. But yeah, I listen to him. Miles a good pass rusher, so he tell me stuff to work and do this and do that, try this and try that. I mean, but we all help each other. Freddie's told us a few times that he expects the D-line to be the strength of the team. Is there, like, a sense of pride with that? I mean, I feel like I feel like it's kind of – I feel like that's football. I feel like, you know what I mean, like we say, you know what I mean, the – the team is going to go as, as far as the offensive line takers and as far as the defensive line takers. If your big boy is not leading your team, then what you got? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we got our quarterback, and you know you got other guys in other positions that are leaders, but it's like at the end of the day, your big boys because your receiver and your quarterback ain't going to walk up on nobody and scare them. <laughs> but when your D-line and your O-line walk up, it's like, yeah, boys, we're going to have a fight today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying?